Maureen Gavesis is one of the few who decided to seek help after being in the industry for a number of years. She says life on the street was not easy and she remains reluctant to even speak about it. Gavesis and some of her colleagues at the time decided to seek help 10 years ago and since then has never looked back. One of the first six ladies who came to CCN to um, look for help since we got tired of doing sex work and some of us got pregnant on street and there's nobody who can take care of our kids. This group of women became the first participants to the King's Daughters, an organization that helps sex workers through a holistic rehabilitation approach and counseling. So far, the organization has helped approximately 80 sex workers through their outreach programs, says founder Esme Kisten. Between 15 to 20 of them um, got employment afterwards through our employment, uh, through our um, empowerment program. We engage them th with trainings. Stigma and discrimination have always been a challenge to the woman, even from family members. Ministry of Health and Social Services, their social workers is also involved in our program. Uh, very helpful in, in, in counseling sessions with these ladies to, to restore their dignity and to help them to cope with stigma and discrimination. Kisten further says that financial difficulties are a constant challenge in the line of work they do and keeping the program running can be quite costly. Yet she encouraged sex workers out there who need help to approach the King's Daughters. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.